Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and obviously, as you can see, we are going to be talking about Gavin Newsom and the upcoming Republican recall. And, well, I don't want to call it a Republican recall, you know, if you're in California, you see these ads all the time, so many ads, and the, these Democrats, they keep saying, stop the Republican recall, stop the Republican recall, stop the Republican recall, stop the Republican recall. No. Anyways. So that's why I said Republican recall. I'm just so used to hearing it now that I'm saying it. No, it's a recall, just a recall. Uh, before we start, I'd just like to say the right choice is to remove Newsom. Uh, you guys can have your own opinions. But if you look at this, my, but my opinion is to remove Newsom. But if you look at this, that Newsom used to be winning by 11% on 538. Now, what is the current? 1.2%, like, that's really bad, considering this is California, and you do not know how blue California is. I live here, and this is very surprising to me. The fact that it's even close is embarrassing for the Democrats. Uh, forget the election. This this poll itself is should be an embarrassment to Democrats. And it's not just this poll. I, I could say recalling is a serious possibility now. I always thought that it was too far, because if you know California, you know what I'm talking about. But it's we're, it's very close. Newsom needs to watch his back. One mistake, and he is dead. So let's look at some other polls. And what do they say to them? Let's see, the poll says the recall effect is only trailing by 4%. 48% yes to the 52% no. This is a bit outdated, but still 4% is still really good. CBS finds Republicans voters care a lot more about the election than Democrats do. That is true. We are going to see a lot of Republican turnout coming out because of this. Let's go to Real Clear Politics, which is also a, which is an unbiased site. We see some very close polling data. We see that that overall we see remove by winning by zero point five percent. This is some very very um. They are a bit to the right, but they are still not that to the right. So this, these numbers are still really good for Republicans. These numbers are excellent news for every for Republicans. And if we go here to California recall election, if we look, we see Newsom is winning by a very small margin. If Republicans can swing this vote towards them. Let's see, but let, we haven't talked about who will replace Newsom. Most likely, it's going to be Larry Elder. Kevin Falchon are coming in last. John Cox here, and then we see Larry Elder absolutely destroying everyone. Kevin Pathrat would just be like, Pathrat would just be like, ooh. Pathrat, uh, many people think he's a serious candidate. He's not. It's Elder. I don't think Pathrat is doing good, but he's not going to be the next governor. It's Newsom, or or what is it? What is it? Uh, Newsom or Elder? Sorry, don't know. It, it just slipped my mind for a while. Caitlyn Jenner? No, these guys aren't. Just like seriously. Let's go to recall win percentage. Keep Newsom. We are seeing some recall polling. We're seeing some very close polling here, replace polling. We're seeing Larry Elder absolutely dominating. We're seeing Evan Path Rath come up. We're seeing Latinos voting to recall. This is excellent news for Republicans. Also, let's look at 538's polls. For this, let's see. They also are showing Elder in the lead, Path Rath second, and Fox third. So, um, this is excellent for Republicans. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, this is, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, 